Okay. Good afternoon. Good to see you. How are you? Good afternoon. Yes, I am very fine. And I am very glad uh, to see you and uh, I'm very happy also. So yeah, I would like to know a little bit more about yourself. Uh, yes, uh, uh, I am. Uh, I was principal in Marathi Medium School in Maharashtra, Nasik. Uh, I was assistant teacher uh, for. Th I have been uh, thirty four years assistant teacher, and after that, I got promotion, mm -hmm. uh, vice principal in Mumbai. Okay. Then principal. And then. Uh, I promoted as a headmaster, uh, then principal, uh, for two years. Okay. And then, uh, actually, it is my childhood uh, wish uh, to speak in English. Uh, if you ask me about my English journey, uh, you will uh, quite surprise also. Uh, from my childhood, from the fifth standard in uh, Marathi medium school, uh, there is one subject that is uh, English. Uh, but uh, in Maharashtra, uh, that uh, if you ask about that English uh, uh, learning process, teaching process, it is very poor. Uh, so uh, lots of people, they can understand English well, uh, but uh, what about the speaking? Uh, there is a problem. And from my childhood, it was my wish uh, to uh, speak in English. And so uh, from last 40 years, not one, two, from last two years, uh, I am trying to for this language. Mm. Okay. So are you retired now? <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, before 30, uh, before three months ago, uh, I retired from my service. Okay. So how are you spending your time now? Do you have any hobbies? What are you doing during your free time? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, at the moment, most of that hobby is my that uh, listening uh, English uh, speakers video uh, like uh, YouTubers like uh, you also uh, your many videos that uh, I have uh, watched uh, the happy ma'am's that video I watched carefully uh, then uh, that uh, one uh, uh, Nagpur's uh, professor of uh, mathematics I think so yeah. <laughs> uh, that uh, video also I watch uh, very carefully and then uh, just now that I Harish Bhave uh, he is pharmacist from that uh, MP uh, mm. Madhya Pradesh. Yeah. Uh, lots of videos uh, I have watched of uh, your that uh, then uh, that uh, Rini Rose uh, that uh, Madam yeah. also yes, uh, yes. Shivani Ma'am's that uh, videos. Mm. Okay. Uh, lots of YouTubers I follow uh, nowadays because I getting uh, lots of time for this. Mm. It makes me really feel happy like uh, from so many years, like 40 years, English is your passion. And still you have not yeah, yeah. lost that fire, that desire. Still, right. still I want to talk in English. Really commendable. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah. And it is just you're following it because you're passionate. You want to learn. You want to talk. Right. English. That's all. No other reason. Yeah. Which is nice. Actually, why it is in my mind, I don't know. But... Uh... Uh, um, time to time, whenever I get time, I actually go with that uh, English uh, conversation to listen also. Mm. Are you also having this happened to me with people? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, in my school, uh, uh, I was uh, finally for uh, last uh, uh, six months, I was in English medium school as a principal. Okay. Oh, okay. So, did you find it challenging suddenly coming from Marathi medium to English medium principal? Huh, yes, yes, uh, it's uh, uh, but no, not uh, that uh, confidence with me there. Uh, I have uh, confidence to speak in front of the uh, students also and uh, with my colleagues also. Uh, mm -hmm. That uh, uh, whenever I uh, enter in the English medium school, I never talk to single word in Marathi or Hindi with my colleagues and with my students. Very good, yeah. Because uh, teachers also, it is their responsibility. If it is an English medium school, they have to talk in English. I hope you even advise the teachers also to talk in English. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, did you also encourage the teachers of the school to talk in English? 
Yes, okay. yes, definitely. When I uh, when I took my first meeting of the with the staff, my mm -hmm. I uh, uh, suggested them uh, this is English medium school, and then it is our duty to communicate with the students and with uh, uh, other that uh, parents also. You have to communicate in English language only. Uh, mm -hmm. From right now, we will not speak in Hindi or English, uh, Hindi or Marathi. Uh, so my that uh, staff also quite surprised there. But mm -hmm. uh, they cooperate me well, and they started this activity uh, very firmly in my school also. Wow, that is a good thing actually, right? Because they are following, and every child need needs this kind of environment. Nowadays, adults are suffering in India, especially because they don't know English. Because of this reason, that is also because in their childhood, their teachers did not talk to them. In their college days, also people they didn't get the environment because English is not an English. Language. Uh, and I think it is responsibility of teachers also. Though the child doesn't yes, understand, they have to talk. They will somehow learn. Uh, I am quite surprised uh, with your English that because I have seen your that uh, YouTube journey also uh, from uh, right to uh, now just I know uh, your way of speaking, uh, your that uh, skill of uh, explaining. Uh, mm -hmm. li I like it. So I thought that uh, my first meeting with YouTubers and that is uh, with you here. Thank you so much. It feels like an honor. And also you can have conversations with a lot of YouTubers because it is your passion, right? So I really wish Thank that you talk in English as much as possible. Now, because of social media, we can create our own environment and we can make friends. We can talk to people in English. So that way, somehow your passion and your dream, there will be some justice to that. You can talk to people. Actually, it is uh, uh, my dream uh, to become a uh, orator of English also that I can live. Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, in our area now, I am living in Pune here now. Okay. Uh, and lots of English medium schools are there. And mm -hmm. I have uh, lots of time. So mm -hmm. if I have that skill, then I can uh, go uh, in English medium schools and I can give the lectures to them. It is uh, uh, actually my wish is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That is a good thing. Actually, you can share your knowledge. And English is such a medium that now it is mandatory. Everyone should know English. Then only they have that confidence also to go out and talk to people. Hmm. Yes, right, right. Yeah. Uh, actually, in my English medium school, I have started one club is there that is Functional English Club. Okay. Uh, uh, I inaugurate uh, that uh, just before uh, my retirement, before two months, two or three months ago and uh, that uh, one teacher uh, he is there now he is working on that uh, uh, club for this uh, the club is uh, very uh, firm about that uh, English language and whenever they will meet to each other they will never uh, speak any other language they always go with English only hmm. the club do, members do you find the similar kind of passion in people like when you were working there were many people who wanted to talk in English uh, actually, lots of parents, uh, because parents are sending their child in English medium school, uh, mm -hmm. uh, only attraction of that English speaking. Right. And uh, parents are very excited about English. But uh, from the teacher's side, uh, there is a, a weaknesses of teachers in uh, Marathi medium school. Actually, mm -hmm. my uh, school was English medium. But lots of uh, teachers uh, transferred from Marathi medium to English medium. And mm -hmm. so they don't want to... Uh, uh, continue with this activity. Mm, yeah. A lot of because parents... How difficult to do. Yeah, yeah, of course. Our parents also have this main issue that when we go to PTMs, we want to talk to the teachers in English. That is also one of the reasons why a lot of parents are learning English these days. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, I have two, two ch children here. Uh, my first... Uh, that. Uh, uh, elder is a doctor uh, in Pune, and another is that uh, a graphic designer in MNC. Uh, when they were in uh, English uh, school, at the time uh, I have had a wish to speak uh, with the teachers in English, but I couldn't at the time. Mm, yeah, but I think at that time it was still like okay. But nowadays, if you don't know English. Um, people tend to look down upon or they feel bad that I don't know English, right? At that time, at least it was a bit manageable. 
uh, justifiable okay because our parents did, did not study in english medium at all it used to be very rare that our parents uh, start new english at that time and it was okay but nowadays um, it is must and should that everybody should know english no oh, one reason is there actually those who are speaking in english uh, uh, those the parents can uh, uh, could speak in english Uh, mm -hmm. definitely their child uh, progress uh, in, in the school also is very well mm -hmm. and teacher also uh, give attention to that child also that is the uh, fact of english medium schools also mm -hmm. but do you think it is fair just because parents talk not, in english not, actually uh, not fair but uh, what happen uh, 60 to the, uh, 70 students are there and uh, teacher are thinking that Uh, if i pay attention to the child that complaint will not come to me uh, so they are uh, paying more attention uh, to this type of child uh, that fact is this correct it is nice to know your perspective how else do you think that you know education system has changed because you have such vast experience how has it changed through generations what do you say actually uh, we must think now uh, see in the newspaper there is one news is there that uh, syllabus changing now uh, right in uh, 20 had 25th or 26 uh, they are going to change the whole subject because now skill based uh, syllabus is coming there okay. ability based and skill based uh, syllabus is coming and it mm -hmm. is good uh, for our uh, uh, next generation correct mm continuous reforms ha ah, yes because our that uh, whole system was uh, uh, in that only uh, 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 what we say it is uh, knowledgeable and that uh, you have to memorize it and uh, just go uh, mm. for exam and write it uh, write down there like this mm. <laughs> exactly i remember when i went to school there used to be one mid term exam which used to happen in october ah, yeah. in the month of september or october and we had to memorize october everything everything from june we had to memorize and write it in october and in march we yeah. would have the final term exams we had to study whatever syllabus was covered from june the entire year and we had to present it in our final exams which was i wonder how we did it because now my children they don't do the same thing it is like june yeah. and they have one or two month syllabus they write they finish then again another one or two month syllabus they write finish so they are it is different for them now they don't have to have so uh, much storage uh, yes yes it is now uh, that uh, term and uh, that uh, examination is there mm -hmm. and unit test is there yes. so they don't have to remember uh, that whole uh, years of uh, that uh, uh, syllabus only uh, for that term and after that uh, they have to think about next term there mm. that is the uh, uh, process now of examination also mm. uh, but that uh, to our syllabus should be changed first of all that syllabus yes. is very important yeah it should be changed mm. still it is all about mugging up still there are that practical knowledge is still not there ha ah, yeah Mm. now uh, because they now they are thinking that uh, we are much behind uh, compare with uh, other uh, that uh, progressive world uh, our that syllabus our that uh, uh, school syllabus and college syllabus also is very much behind of them mm, right and i think in bigger cities people have already advanced right because they have subjects like music also they have like separate subjects like music they are uh, having no. then sports also they are learning but in smaller cities uh, in our cities we don't have anything like this yeah, but uh, what happened now ma'am that there is there are lots of boards that icsc then cbsc that uh, state boards are there mm -hmm. uh, but now uh, most of the educated people they are sending their child now ic uh, icsc and that uh, cbsc also yeah. so they get uh, that uh, advantage of it there mm -hmm. yeah and also i think because of the cities also Yeah, children studying in bigger cities, they have more choices, more yeah, access. Yeah. Okay. Actually, uh, I would like to know uh, that uh, my motive is there. Yes. Uh, that is only. Uh, that is only. I want to check my knowledge, and 
uh, my uh, level of speaking and so that uh, i want to speak that uh, expert like you uh, so i contact you then okay uh, your level is okay you are talking english well only thing a little bit of more fluency you need i think because you are still yeah. thinking for sentences before talking so i do not yeah, feel yeah. it very smooth you are okay you are almost there but you need more practice of speaking to people that exact yeah. flow kind of thing that i am not getting that is all yeah, yeah 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 you need more practice of talking especially i think because you are already doing your listening practice you are having that knowledge and of course you have a lot yeah. of knowledge. yeah i listen i listen lot more than uh, last 4 to 5 years i am listening only 4 to 5 years just i am listening only that english uh, videos english conversation english stories everything mm. that is how you I got lots of knowledge mm. but i think compared to listening uh, how much speaking have you done uh, uh, only in the last 6 to four, 7 months i got chance in the english medium school uh, only uh, this part is that uh, about speaking only. This is the part. Okay. Very uh, uh, few uh, opportunity I got there. Exactly. That is what we lack nowadays. Opportunity to talk in English. See, only in six or seven months, you have learned this much English, right? But you are listening from so many years. So if you had the speaking yeah. practice from so many years, you would be like, you know, advanced speaker by now. Like all your dreams would have come true about English. So that is what you yeah. need. Another one or two years of continuous speaking practice. That will help you tremendously. Just talk to people. I wouldn't say that you have to learn more things because you already have a lot of knowledge. But while talking, it is something spontaneous. You have to yeah. listen and that is limited to that. But speaking is spontaneous. It will come only through practice of speaking. That's all. Uh, because uh, lots of that ordinary people can speak English well. Uh, I have seen in the videos also. Yeah. And then uh, I'm thinking that uh, I'm educated person that uh, why it's happened to me. Uh, we are not speaking uh, fluent, fluently. Uh, so uh, I thought that now we have to start our that uh, journey for that uh, mm -hmm. this way. Exactly. That is also one of the intention of the platform. Many people from diverse backgrounds, they are like drivers, cleaners, whatever. Even they have passion of talking in English and they are able to talk. So it is kind of inspiration to so many people. If they can do it, even we have to do it, including homemakers. They also want to learn. Everybody is participating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. Uh, nowadays, I, I have seen lots of that. Actually, uh, it's not uh, uh, the subject of uh, discuss here, but uh, lots of uh, that uh, female YouTubers. Uh, lots of female YouTubers on the uh, that this platform, and they are uh, doing very well uh, in the spoken English uh, field here. Yes, yes. Having opportunity like YouTube is something you can manage your personal professional very well. You can just do it right. like if you have one hour day, a day also, you are able to manage with YouTube, talking to people. So when social media yeah. is giving you that opportunity, it is good, you know. Make hay while, while the sun shines still, right? So make use of the opportunity and talk. I think that is why women, instead of just being confined with themselves, it is a fun way of interacting and reaching out to people, talking. And in the long run, it will help you gradually improve your language also. It is very effective when you talk to people. And the main reason is that you can see your recording. The first conversation that you had with somebody compared to like after six months when you're talking to somebody, you will know your own progress of English and you will have proof of yeah. it in the form of videos. So okay, that's okay. a good thing. That is also a good thing. You can track your progress. Uh, one thing that I want to uh, know from you, yes. uh, have you used any app for uh, that uh, fluency? No. Never used anything to learn English. Learned only oh, naturally. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Never learned English as a subject ever in my life. Everything by practical experience, by talking, by listening, by watching, everything is like that. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, have you used any app for the uh, this power fluency to develop? No, I haven't used any app. To oh, learn, okay. to learn my fluency uh -huh. and to become fluent, I have never used any uh -huh. app. 
very nice very nice because uh, nowadays lots of that uh, apps ad is there and uh, i i didn't use uh, yet uh, but uh, i am thinking that yes uh, the, this app is uh, very useful or not uh, i'm not uh, sure about this uh, so i want to uh, just uh, opinion from your side yeah i haven't used any audio calling apps yes there are a lot of them these days but honestly my personal experience has not been that very effective in terms of learning uh, because many people are not there just for learning english that is from a yeah. female perspective i'm saying when you talk to yeah. people they did not feel very much that they are serious in learning english the, it was correct, just like correct. chatting and random talks so i did not find those platforms very useful but youtube is a thing that you have your recording and uh, the opposite person is going to record you so you are going to be serious in the discussion and it is going to be uh, yeah. basically for english and you have to talk in english you will be conscious so i think this platform yeah. is the most effective one for you to learn and improve okay okay because uh, i have seen lots of your your videos uh, you talk uh, different uh, types of people there yeah. uh, that uh, one uh, girl from that i think uh, that uh, uh, from bengal that uh, jalpai gudi i think uh, i talked to you there okay. with her um maybe a uh, place i remember okay. the person's name that's all ah uh, yeah yeah uh, then uh, uh, two or three uh, that uh, one uh, person was there that i think so uh, four to five uh, your videos uh, with the different types of people uh, but uh, you manage them well and uh, you, you uh, give them very uh, uh, great confidence uh, for them also uh, i have seen in this video yeah. and so i thought that uh, you are the right person that uh, uh, it is my first talk uh, for uh, to youtubers uh, yeah. from my side and uh, from right now i will uh, start to speak with others also mm. but it is my first talk to you there yeah it is very good i really appreciate and encourage that thing because instead of stepping back and just hiding and watching videos you are also approaching right. you want to improve you want to talk which is okay. nice actually it is, i i i don't have dare uh, to speak uh, with uh, you like this because you are expert of that uh, language also now but i thought that no no ma'am is given that uh, uh, positive response to me so i have to uh, go with this activity thank you so, so much. i uh, uh, joined you yeah yeah thank you that requires a lot of courage honestly uh, now coming up and talking to people it requires courage it also requires patience like why to do it now that thought also will be there but still you are doing which is very good continue whatever you are doing now Uh, because uh, in my uh, from 2007 we have set uh, that uh, one uh, club was uh, that uh, functionalis club uh, okay. we were the three there and we always uh, uh, spoke in uh, english language there actually mm. people are la laugh at us there uh, mm. why they are doing this type of activity but uh, we continued and uh, now nowadays that one person uh, his teacher he is a great uh, honor he is uh, doing his duty now in english medium school as a reputed teacher now mm. uh, he, hard he work became so fluent yeah yeah uh, hard work will pay uh, yeah he got that chance there mm. and also i i receive a lot of mails usually but you also wrote a short introduction about yourself right like you were a principal and uh, i i just thought yeah, i yeah. talk to you <laughs> no no it's my uh, uh well, Uh, what what we say it is uh, very uh, i am grateful about you you have accept uh, my that request also and uh, you have uh, give me time for uh, your valuable time to me it's uh, grateful and thankful uh, thank you for us for you you're most welcome any other questions you wanted to ask me uh uh actually uh from my side uh, it is the my level of uh, speaking now uh, first of all i want to know from you uh, what to do uh, to be uh, in the next level uh, what activity you should you will suggest to be there i will suggest you more of watching for content like you can watch speeches are you aware of tedx talks 
TEDx. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Please ah, watch yeah, yeah. the speeches every single day. One or two speeches. Yeah. For one week, watch the same speech. Like one or two speech you shortlist, which is easy for you to understand. Not very high fi also. The same speech throughout the week you watch. Because repetition is equally important. The more it keeps falling on your ear, the better you will learn and understand. So instead of watching different speeches every day, one speech for two to three days. So like that, that knowledge, it'll just get ingrained in your memory. You will start remembering the words that they use, how they use that and the uh, structure of the sentences, everything like that. Slowly, you can incorporate the same language in your speaking practice. Okay. From now on, you're going it. to talk to people, right? So learn like that and whatever you have learned, try to use it in your next conversation. Step by step, you can improve like that. Because already you have all the knowledge and your English is quite good. You need a little bit more of fluency. That's all. And the yeah. way you talk words, like pronunciation is okay, but the influence of Marathi language that is there in the speech. But yeah, that is okay. It is not a problem area at all. Just improve your fluency. Uh, That's all. Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely, ma'am. I got uh, that uh, chance is there because I uh, watch videos, uh, variety of videos, not uh, repeated. So uh, this is the one point that uh, I will definitely, uh, uh, you, it is useful for me there. Mm -hmm. And I will go with this activity there. Mm -hmm. uh, day by day, uh, definitely, mm -hmm. I will do this practice there. Okay. So how is your health? All good? Yes, I am doing yoga every day. And uh, I am a good uh, swimmer also. Uh, for one hour, I am swimming. That uh, yoga is also there. That walking is there. That my health is very nice uh, by uh, sake of God. Uh, definitely, I am very uh, good in, by health. Mm. Also, I've noticed that people who are into the teaching field, they have been teachers or they have been in the education field, uh, like in your generation, yeah. they are naturally, they have good health because they have been maintaining timings, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. Uh, physical and uh, just now I have uh, just now I have completed that uh, thirty meters, uh, thirty kilometers marathon also. Okay, <laughs> we feel ashamed <laughs> like youngsters with people who do not uh, work out or who are not active enough. I really feel ashamed uh, when I talk to elders who are more fit and active. No, 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 no. It's my suggestion for uh, like you are also like my child there. Uh, so it is my uh, that uh, suggestion to you. Uh, first of all, uh, health is very important. So yeah. uh, you have to see your health first and then other activities will be uh, automatically uh, will be uh, in uh, operation. Mm. Also, we have a lot of distraction right nowadays, social media and you have your mobile all the time. So somehow you think of going for a walk or doing something, then you get distracted. It is uh, difficult to stay motivated. No, for, but, but for one hour, uh, it should be uh, that uh, 24 hours are there. And that one hour for our health, it is very uh, important for us now. Yeah, I'll definitely consider your suggestion. So the call is going uh, to end uh, automatically. Anything, any final words you want to say, you can say. Uh, yes, uh, today's that uh, talk with you there, that it is very useful for me. And uh, I appreciate that uh, your uh, patience, uh, your that uh, knowledge, and uh, your skill of that explaining. Uh, definitely, it is uh, useful for the learners. And uh, from right now, I got that uh, um, uh, very good confidence here. And definitely, in uh, in upcoming that uh, six months, I will be uh, fluent English. It is uh, um, a promise from my side also because I have uh, taken your that uh, thirty minutes that uh, valuable time for me this, and I am very thank you thankful about uh, you have given me this uh, this type of valuable suggestions to me. Okay. It was a really a pleasure. The pleasure is mine talking to an experienced person like you. So it was really good and one of the very good conversations that I had. Thank you so much for sending in the request first of all. <laughs> So you take care and good luck. Continue the practice. Yes, thank you, madam. See you, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.